This project started with a classified ad on a local website called KSL. I took a little twist into my old man's arm, but I talked Ginger Dave into an adventure. Stay tuned. I'd been wanting to build a wheelies for a long time, and seeing the patina on this one, I really fell in love with it. And when my dad had showed interest in a retirement project, it wasn't too tough of a sell. We purchased the cab sight unseen, and after talking to the owner, he agreed to deliver it for an extra 50 bucks. Hell, we weren't even sure what year it was. Turns out, it's a 51 Willys Overland pickup truck. Now that we'd found ourselves a good starting point, it was on to finding a good donor vehicle. We came across this wrecked 2003 Blazer that had been hit pretty hard on the driver's side. Doors are still not open. Ran great. Drove it all the way home from Saratoga Springs. Cruise control, everything works. Drove straight. Fender's hood. Anybody needs some S10 parts, there's some good ones left. Pull it back in the garage now and start taking the interior out of it. Strip the dash, pull the windshield, pull the back panels, try to pull the wires out from underneath the body and we're gonna start cutting. We'll cut the floor out. Yeah. So we got plenty to cut off if we don't need to go back very far. But... Pretty good demo for one day. A little further on it. Got the inside well gutted. Got the wiring loom all pulled to the front. We got that center seam peeled with the air hammer, got in between there and popped all the pinch or the spot welds. 
And then we're going to cut the A and B pillars. I'm going to get in there and anything from this line back. I'm going to undo the body bolts. And you should be able to lift the whole top part of the car off. It's my old man, Ginger Dave, a.k.a. Big Red. Rocking what I call the shop shades. The old man's rocking the stun of shades. Otherwise known as the hater blockers. Standing down here, you can definitely tell. There's the good side, the side that didn't get hit. I'm alive, Johnny. Put some of the stuffing in the wrong places, so I'm, I'm a little fluffed up. But will you take care of me forever and ever? That frame is definitely bent. We're gonna have to pull on it some more. Well, got her pretty well stripped down to where we can pull on it some more and i'm about beat for the night so i think we're gonna call it what do you think ginger dave yeah it's time Be a little more fun tomorrow <laughs>